Hello grade 12, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Login Science. In today's video, I'll be solving question 4 from November 2021 20, on sequences and series. Before I can start, I'd like to remind you and encourage you to subscribe to your channel and don't forget to activate the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post new content for you. Down below is my name and the email address at which you can contact us. So if you have anything that you would like to let us know, feel free to use the email address down below. I'm solving question 4 from November 2021 past exam paper. Okay, the question says, consider the linear pattern 5, 7, 9. A linear pattern means the same as an arithmetic sequence. So don't be confused. If you see linear pattern, it is the same as an arithmetic sequence. Okay, 4.1. Determine T51, the 51st term. Since it is a linear pattern, this formula can be used to determine T51, this formula. Okay, and now T51 is equal to what is a a is your first term so your first term is five plus n you put 51 the 51st term minus one what is d d is the common difference so let's get our d D will be you take the next term minus the previous term so it's seven minus the previous term which is also the same if you take t3 minus t2 and this will give you two so seven minus five or nine minus seven is equal to two so two is your common difference d and now t51 is equal to can you use your calculator quickly to get the answer the answer will be 105 can you see that 105 because you have 50 there times 2 100 plus 5 105 so t51 is 105 okay now the next question 4.2 calculate the sum of the first 51 terms so you need to find s 51 so the formula for the sum this one can help you remember it from our lesson this one okay so we need to get S51. What is N equal to? N is equal to 51. Because we want to find the sum of the first 51 terms. And what is A? A is your first term, which is 5. And what is your D? D is the common difference and it's 2. You see that 7 minus 5, 2 or 9 minus 7. We calculated it here. Can you see? D is equal to 2. S51 is equal to, you have N over 2, N is 51 over 2 you have 2 times a a is 5 plus you have n minus 1 in bracket n is 51 and you see that minus 1 and times d d is your common difference 
use your calculator just plug in what you have there put 10 there equals 2 times 5 is 10 plus this is 51 minus 1 is 50 50 times 2 and so the answer is 2805 so the next question 4.3 write down the expansion of you are given this sigma notation symbol and you are told to show only the first three terms and the last term of the expansion so you have your general term in front of the sigma symbol to get your first term you substitute what you have at the bottom and to get your last term you substitute what you have at the top okay let's do 4.3 so this is the expansion so this is the general term 2n plus 3 now get your expansion now to get the expansion you're gonna substitute starting from n equal to 1 to get your first term and to get your last term you're gonna substitute what you have at the top 5000 to get your last term okay so you're gonna still use the same general term in front of the sigma symbol okay let's get the expansion so it's 2 times n, you substitute 1, plus 3, you close. Now the next term, you now substituting the number after 1, which is 2. Okay, now the next term, you substitute the number after 2. So you started substituting from 1. 2 and now it's 3 it's plus 3 and now you have terms in between so you have terms in between there plus now you need to get your last term using what you have at the top still gonna use the general term in front of the sigma symbol so it's 2 times 5000 plus 3 okay so this is your t1 and this is your t2 and this is your t3 and this is your last term let's call it t and okay the last term okay now let's get the expansion now this will be 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3, 5 plus the next term 2 times 2, 4 plus 3, 7. The next term 2 times 3, 6 plus 3, 9 plus you have terms in between there plus the last term 2 times 5000 which is 10,000 plus 3, 10,003. So it's 10,003. 4.4. Hence, or otherwise calculate, you have this sigma notation plus this sigma notation. The sigma notation stands for sum of. So you need to calculate the sum of this plus this. I hope you can remember from our lesson on sigma notation. So this is what we are given. Okay, to find the sum of these, you need to get the expansion of each of the notation first before you can calculate the sum. Okay, we have the expansion of this one. It was this one i hope you can see it from the previous question this one can you see it now let's get the expansion of the other sigma notation this one
Okay, for this one, we just need to get the first three terms and the last term, like we did it with this one, the first three terms and the last term. Okay, this is the expansion after substitution. You can see we have negative 3, negative 5, negative 7, and negative 9,999. So this is the expansion for this sigma notation. Okay, now we have two expansion, this one and this one. We need to calculate the sum of this and this one. Remember, you have terms in between there and there okay so if you look at this one you can see this is an arithmetic sequence there's a common difference of two from five to seven there's a difference of two from seven to nine there's a difference of two when you check this one there is also a common difference so from negative three to negative five there is a difference of negative two from negative five to negative seven there's a difference of negative two so this is also an arithmetic sequence to get the sum this formula can help you remember it where you have your first term and the last term okay now you need to find n for this expansion and n for this expansion so we need to find the number of terms we are calculating the sum for you can see you have your first and last term in each of the expansion so your first and last term your first and the last term in each of the expansion what you need to find is n the number of the terms you are going to sum so you need to find the number of the terms you are going to sum in each of the expansion if you remember from the lesson i told you that you can get the number of the terms when you are given a sigma notation like this n for this expansion is going to be equal to the top value minus the value at the bottom plus one and this is equal to 5000 so you are going to sum 5000 terms and n for this expansion it's going to be equal to you take the value at the top minus the value at the bottom plus one this is going to be equal to this so you are going to sum 4999 terms for this expansion so you are going to calculate s 5000 plus s 4999 using this formula okay now let's do it okay after substitution using this formula you have n equal to 5000 for the first expansion n is equal to 5000 over 2 and a is the first term and the first term in the first expansion is 5 the last term is 10,003 you can see there and what is the answer use the calculator so we have 5000 
so this is the answer and we are done with question four from november 2021 don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell if you haven't see you next time and take care